Hey there everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to share with you some Dollar Tree DIY coastal decor. I love making coastal and beachy decor even though I don't live anywhere near an ocean, but I love to share it with you guys and I love to make it budget friendly. If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss out on a new video. All right, now let's get into all of the DIYs today. For this first DIY, I used one of these silver trays from Dollar Tree that you can find in the coastal decor section. I didn't mind the silver color, however, I thought it would look better painted in white. So I took some acrylic paint and some baking soda and I did the trick where you mix those two together to make it a thicker paint and more of a textured paint. Um, and it'll just make this tray look a little bit more high end. So I painted two coats of paint onto that. And then I used some sand from Dollar Tree. Once it was dry and I covered the bottom of the tray. And then I picked up three of these glass bottles from Dollar Tree that had the little starfish trinkets on them. And I placed those on the tray inside the sand. Now I thought that these bottles were going to be great taper candle holders. Unfortunately, the candles were a little bit too small. The bottles were a little bit too big. So the candle sat all the way down inside. So I just heated them up and melted the wax so that they set firmly inside the bottles and didn't move around. And I do think that this turned out really pretty. It's perfect for a centerpiece or a coffee table decor. And I love how it turned out for some affordable coastal decor. This next coastal DIY is really simple as well. I took one of these faux shiplap signs from Dollar Tree and I just cut off the tag and then the twine they used as a hanger. I cut that off as well. This is supposed to hang vertically, but I'm going to hang it actually horizontally. So I want to go ahead and cover up those holes that the twine went through and I'm just going to use this beach sign that was painted white and I'm going to hot glue that down and then the B is going to go right over the holes. And then on the opposite side, I am going to use these hangers from Dollar Tree. They are really cute coastal hangers that I found. They're seashells and a starfish. And I just hot glued them down. Definitely use E6000 for this maybe as well. So that way you have a little bit of a stronger hold. And then for a new hanger, I'm just going to use some of this white nautical rope on the back and I'm just going to hot glue each side down. Now this isn't meant to hold anything really heavy. So um, you don't want to put anything that is going to drag it down on here, but I think it turned out really cute and you can hang like some kitchen towels on it or some other coastal decor or even some keys on it by your front door. I think it's really adorable and it works perfect for beach and coastal decor and it is affordable to make. For this next DIY, I'm going to make a cute coastal wreath with these brass wreath rings from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of three. I am just going to use the bigger one out of all three of them. I set the other ones aside and I'll use those for a different project later on. And then I saw these cute coastal floral picks from Dollar Tree. I don't know if they're new this year. I've never seen them at my Dollar Tree before, but I love the way they look. They are so neutral and uh, they have some with seashells and seahorses in them. I just think they are super pretty for a wreath. So what I did was take some of this lace ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take one of the picks and I'm going to lay it on top of the wreath form and kind of move the uh, bottom of the pick around the wreath form and then I'm going to wrap the ribbon around that pick to hold it in place. And then once that's in place, I'm going to go ahead and add another floral pick and then wrap some more ribbon around that one and then add the next floral pick until I'm all done. I had five floral picks all together and I just kept wrapping them as I went down the wreath in like a cascading uh, kind of feel on this wreath form. And as I was wrapping the ribbon around the floral, I made sure that I wrapped in between the pieces of floral that kind of didn't always 
um, fit, I suppose, so that that way nothing was confined and held down by the ribbon. It all flowed nicely and uh, it looked it looked flowy, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And then once I got to the last pick, I just wrapped all the way down uh, those floral picks until I got to the very bottom and then hot glued that piece of ribbon. And then I took the rest of the ribbon that I had and made a cute little bow and added that to the top. So it looks like just a pretty coastal bouquet on this wreath form. I just cut some of the leftover ribbon off and I think this turned out really pretty. I love the neutral colors of these floral picks and you can always add a pop of color if you want more color to this with some different gems or things like that but I think that this is a perfect for some affordable nice and easy coastal decor for this next DIY I'm gonna use one of these long planter boxes from Dollar Tree it's just a plastic planter and I'm gonna use some of this nautical rope I thought I had more of this nautical rope than I did and I had planned on covering up this whole planter with the nautical rope. However, I only had two packages of it. So I went ahead and covered up the top of the planter. I just used some hot glue and hot glued uh, both packages down to around the top. And then I could have just left it this beige color because I think it would have went well with the project. Um, but I decided to go ahead and paint the planter uh, just so I don't know it would match the other things that I was making as well so I just used the same baking soda and acrylic paint mixture and painted two coats on and then I picked up some of these floral foam blocks from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue them down so that they're uh, standing up like this and I hot glued them at the bottom and then I hot glued them together so that way they would hold. And then Dollar Tree has some really cute coastal burlap uh, that they put out. This one is just white. They do have other uh, colors and designs on them, but I just got the white one and I'm just going to set that on top to cover that floral foam and then kind of tuck the corners in around the edges and fill in those gaps. And then I did hot glue uh, the pieces down so that that way they would stay in place. Next, I found these cute little shiplap wooden fish from Dollar Tree that were already painted white. So I'm gonna take those fish and I'm gonna hot glue those to these dowels that come in a pack of two from Dollar Tree and they're nice and thick and heavy wooden dowels. So I just glued one to the back of each of these fish. I added a lot glue, just a pot of hot glue, just to make sure that everything stayed. And then I am going to place the dowels with the fish on them right inside that floral foam. So I just cut a little hole in the burlap for the dowel to fit through. And I left one of the fish with the dowel the same length as it was. And then I took the other two fish and I cut them a little bit shorter, each one of those a little bit shorter than the other one so that that way they would kind of look like they were floating in a school of fish. And then I decided to go ahead and paint the dowels white so that way it wouldn't stand out as much. Um, it kind of blended in. And then I took some of these uh, blue coastal rocks from Dollar Tree and I added those inside the base. I just thought it gave this some color and some texture to the piece and that was it. That's all I did to this. I think it's cute. You could add some florals. Um, those floral picks would look really cute in this as well uh, or just some greenery. I think it is just a nice piece of neutral coastal decor and again it didn't cost very much to make this at all so it turned out really great. DIY I'm going to use the last dowel that came in uh, the packs that I got from Dollar Tree because I had two two packs 
for the last project so I had a dowel left over so I'm just gonna take that dowel and I'm going to add a piece of twine as a hanger and then I'm gonna take some twine and I am going to tie that on to the dowel and I'm just gonna tie it at varying lengths. So the middle one was the longest and then I tied one piece on each side that were about the same and then I tied two more on each side of those that were about the same length. And then I took this bag of seashells from Dollar Tree and I am just gonna kinda play like a puzzle here and match up the seashells so that that way you can put them together and they look like one big shell that's never been opened. And I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue that on to the twine string. And then I'm going to go ahead and place the other seashell on top of that so that way it keeps everything enclosed and that piece of twine is just uh, holding that seashell on there. And then I did that all the way down each one of these pieces of twine and the seashells are varying shapes and sizes so you just have to be patient and find ones that match up and they do match up i actually had a full seashell that wasn't even open in one of these packs that matched up perfectly so you'll be able to find them um and then i did take some of these starfish they're just plastic starfish from dollar tree if you have real starfish that would look cool too but they just had the plastic ones at dollar tree so i added a couple of those um, I think three or four come in a pack, so I added two on the string, and then I went ahead and decorated the dowel as well uh, with some of the leftover seashells and the starfish, just to kind of tie everything together. And this would be a cute wind chime, or you could use this as a door hanger, or just hanging up around your house for some pretty coastal decor. Just a little tip, if you are planning on putting this outside, make sure it is under a covered area because the hot glue will not stand up with all of the weather and, and the heat and things like that. But I do think it is a pretty piece of coastal decor. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a seashell emoji down below in the comments if you made it all the way through the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.